Hey everybody, it's John with Clear Plan here. In this video, I'm going to go over how to make zones. A lot of people struggle with making zones on their first go, but I'm going to show you some easy ways to make zones. So as you can see, I'm on the zones page, and we have a bunch of zones here. So let's create a new one. To do that, just come over here to the right-hand corner and click on this blue button that says Create New Zone. And once you're on this page, you want to look at your city. So I'm in Reno right now, and that's what we're looking at. So you want to break down your zones into an area where one agent can run in one day. That's our best bet practice. I know a lot of software companies out there want you to want you to create zones and run lists based on zip codes. Don't do it. Build your run list based on the volume. You know your area better than anybody else. So get in here, create your zones based on area. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to scroll into this map. And the way that I'm going to do that, I have a couple of different ways. One method I can use is I can use my scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom in and zoom out. If that doesn't work for you or you don't have a mouse, use this left hand button right here where you can click in and click out. Okay, once you've find, found an area that you like, I'm going to create a zone right here in the right hand uh, corner of Sparks, so in the northeast corner. So to do that, I'm going to grab this polygon tool right here and I'm going to I'm going to start my first point on the zone by clicking and then I'm going to drag my mouse away as you can see I have this little stick that follows my mouse right so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put my next point in here by just simply clicking and then I'm going to draw it down and I want to follow this street so I'm going to put my next mark right here and again I'm going to do this by clicking now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on the map and the way that I do that is I'm just gonna use my mouse my scroll wheel and I'm just gonna zoom in right see how easy that is I can zoom way in and now I can draw my map based on this road Vista Boulevard so let me add another point here I do that by clicking and I'm gonna come down here add another point and I'm gonna go add one more right there now I want to be able to see the rest of my map so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my scroll wheel again and I'm gonna zoom back out Okay, now we're going to follow Prater Way over to here. Click to put another point. Down to I-80, which is the freeway. I'm going to click, put another point. Click to put another point. And then when I'm when I'm back to my end point, you'll see, watch my mouse. It changes from the cross icon to the finger pointer. So once I do that, I know I'm at the end. I can click. Now I can save this zone. And name it something that makes sense to you guys. This is Sparks in the northeast corner. Makes sense for us. Once I do that, I'm going to hit Save Zone. And there you go. You just built the zone. Now let's say, hey, I didn't like this zone. That's real simple. Click on it. Delete it. And we're going to pop this thing up to make sure, hey, do you really want to delete it? Yep. Get out of here. And maybe I want to be a little bit more granular. I want to be a little bit more detailed on the zone. That's all right. Not a big deal. This time I'm going to draw the zone a little bit differently. Instead of using my scroll wheel, I'm going to use only these tools right here to draw the zone. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in. Here we go, I'm zoomed way, way in. And right now I'm just clicking and dragging the map. That's all I'm doing, I'm dragging the map. Okay, so I'm going to go up, grab my polygon tool, and I'm going to start right here. I'm going to click, and as I pull my mouse away, you'll see the little stick. Now I want to move the map up. I can't see it up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my keyboard, the up, down, left, right arrows, and I'm just hitting the up arrow right now. And you can see my map moving up. Okay, I like that. So I'm going to click this point right here, and I'm going to move over on McCarran Boulevard. And all I'm doing is dragging and clicking and dragging and clicking. And I get to the edge over here, I'm going to use my right hand arrow. I'm going to move the map over, and I drag and let's drag it to right here click drag click drag click drag click now I get down to the bottom I can't see my map again so I'm gonna use my down arrow I'm just gonna move the map down and I wanna to go to I-80 over here so drag and click and then I'm gonna drag right here to I-80 and all I'm doing right now is clicking and dragging my mouse click drag click now I get to the edge again and this time I'm gonna use my left hand arrow and I'm moving the map See how easy that is to move? I still have my stick following my mouse. So I'm going to click, drag, click, 
click and drag and then I get to my end point you can see the cursor turns to the pointer I'm gonna click that again I'm gonna name my zone I'll name it test zone just for this video and I'll save it and we'll get this little success hey the zone was saved and that's it zones built so get in here draw your zones if you're having problems with it just mess around draw a big square box delete it draw it again once you kind of get the hang of this, you'll be able to draw zones with no problem. The last thing I want to tell you guys about zones is it's okay to overlap a zone. Don't worry about, you know, trying to be Picasso in there. If you want to overlap a zone, that's perfectly fine, okay? But get in here, draw your zones, and have fun with the tool. Thanks so much for listening.